What could it be? It's big, it's heavy, it's long. It's from a company I don't know. I'm excited. Let's open it up. All right, I got a Kershaw here today. We're gonna open this guy up. I don't, this thing's brutal. It's big. Oh, there we go. Any ideas yet? Might want that. Good parts. Chain. What we have here is a spring compressor. This is a big, beefy, I think it's a three ton is what I got, spring compressor. So when we're working on the suspensions of vehicles, we're not using the $39.99 ones from AutoZone or your local hardware store or auto store. And they get all bendy and wonky and crazy. I bought this guy off of Amazon. It was about $100, which makes sense for me because I've been doing a lot of springs. And it's going to be a lot safer in the shop to have around. So I'm going to put it together and hopefully we can use it soon. So we got the feet on here, um, we just bolted those up, it was a 14 millimeter on the outside and it was uh, I believe a 17 on the nut. Um, I added a lock washer and a regular washer on this. Pretty much I'm having to redo a lot of the hardware that because the hardware that came with it is just junk. This one might have been used, I'm not entirely sure, or it was really banged up um, in transportation, though the box doesn't look too, too bad. So I'm not even using that at all. So I went to the hardware store to buy all new supplies for mounting the jack. Um, I got a 15 16 um, one and a half inch long coarse thread. Um, I got an extra washer, a big washer, and then a lock washer. So you can see down here, we're using the big washer to fill this void all the way along. I also bought some plastic spacers that I'm gonna fill these holes with and put them in there um, so that it's not just sliding around and bouncing around because that gap on the inside is really large. So this part up right now, it slides over the top and down. There's just a hole in the top up there. And then what we have is this part, the part up here will match up with the jack and it'll go on the back side there. They supplied a little bolt that'll fit in that the little collar of the jack area. So you can just screw that in. And then the front roller you have to assemble yourself. You just slide up on the inside, like so. And go through. And then there's a cotter pin around here that you're gonna put up and through here. So that's about it. You're gonna tighten this down. Uh, they, the pedal has a bolt hole also, but they didn't supply us a bolt for that. So I'll have to find something to get that to work with. Um, this thing will jack up pretty high. It'll go almost all the way up, which is really nice. For the top part, which goes over the top here, you can put the bolt through, but the bottom bolt doesn't line up. So because this will go up so high, I might actually weld the top so it stays into place or maybe some of the bottom as well. Maybe I'll cut the, this bottom hole a little bit more or actually, you know what, now that I'm talking about it, I'll probably do it the opposite way. Because all the strain is going to be up this way. And so I'll cut this a little bit more and so I can fit it up there or something. When the strain's going that way, I've got to figure out which way we're going to, which part we'll cut. So, or I'll just weld it. But since this goes all the way up, I might just make this a fixed position because this part's adjustable. But still, that's pretty interesting. This doesn't match up really at all. Um, besides that, then we can just pull these bolts out, then we can put these guys in for whatever size spring you got, and, uh, and then away you go. Um, we're going to test it out here in a little bit, so I'm excited. Also for reference, I was able to get these bolts, both of these bolts in there. Um, I drilled both holes out to 9 16 These are about, roughly about a half inch, um, as is, maybe a little bit bigger. So I drilled the holes out a little larger, and now I got both of those bolts in there. So here we have it. I just put this Tundra. This is a Tundra coil inside of here. And what's cool about this now is that this will slide straight up and down. And it, when we put those 
uh, the ones from the auto store in there, they could move side to side or not be straight up and down. So when you're pushing up and down on this pedal, it's actually moving straight up and down. You're compressing the coil. There it goes. You can move it. You can see that top hat is coming loose now. And now we got a little loose coil in here. So this works really well because now I can undo this. I can set another coil in there. I can rebuild this if I wanted. Um, I could shade it out with another shock and just put it all back together. For the price, I think it's worth it in the safety, especially for me because I've been working with these coils a lot. I've also been using those AutoZone or Auto parts store uh, coil compressors um, often, and they just they're scary. And this thing, I just feel a lot safer about it. I'm still a little insecure on how to set everything up and make sure it's all working right, but I do feel a lot better using this system here for changing things out. Um, I bought it because I've been doing a lot of these lately and been playing with them, especially with the Forerunners, and now I got the new Tacoma, so I might be changing out springs and things of that nature. If you're a hobbyist, this might not be the solution for you, but for a, roughly $100, it's well worth it in my mind for the safety factor. So to go down, you just hit the pedal. And then getting it out is kind of tricky. There you go. That one actually went better than the Forerunner we were playing with earlier. You can go all the way down. I don't know if there's a value benefit. Somebody tell me if there's a benefit for leaving this. If it hurts the bottle jack to leave it up over time, or should I always press it all the way down? Let me know in the comments below. So just like always, thanks for watching. If you uh, see a value to this, hit that like button, and don't forget, keep crawling.